रेडी स्टार्ट आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू हैव दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मीट यू ग्रेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वेस्ट ऑन द शोल्डर्स ऑफ आवर सिविल सर्विसेज पर्टिकुलरली द इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस आवर्स इज ए लार्ज कंट्री कैरेक्टराइज बाय ग्रेट डाइवर्सिटी ग्रेट कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड द यूनिटी एंड इंटेग्रिटी ऑफ इंडिया हैज टू बी द प्राइमरी कंसर्न ऑफ ऑल दो इन्वॉल्व इन प्रोसेस ऑफ गवर्नेंस दिस डज नॉट मीन दैट वी शुड लूज साइट ऑफ द पेक्यूलियर सर्कमस्टेंसेज इन विच your respective states may be placed i think ours is a unique administrative setup it's a federal setup and services like the indian administrative service perform that twin combination of concern with local circumstances and at the same time wider concern that these local problems are resolved in a manner which strengthens the bonds of unity and strengthens the nation's integrity of all the services in our country the indian administrative service has performed its role with greatest efficiency integrity and commitment to national values i said that ours is a country of great diversity and great complexity we have in our country religions all the great religions represented in our society we have also large number of groups of people who are under privileged and who have been discriminated against for centuries and when the constitution of india was being drawn up the founding fathers of our republic took it upon themselves to make up for those centuries of inequality by giving them a privileged position when it comes to admission of civil services are concerned when it comes to giving them a share in processes of governance through participation in the state legislatures and parliament it is therefore very essential that our civil servants should be aware of the extreme complexity of managing an entire country of india's diversity i would therefore urge all of you that thou you must specialize in acquiring a deep understanding of the problem faced by your respective states you must also dwell deep into the whole process of nation building in a country of india's size india's diversity and india's complexity i would also say that we are living in a world where human knowledge is growing at an unprecedented pace therefore your stint at the academy cannot and should not involve an end of the thirst for acquisition of knowledge i think our training modules suggest that life has to be one of continuous processes our country has been growing at a handsome rate in the last 15 years ever since the reform program was launched our growth rate has averaged above 6 to 6.5% in recent years we have improved upon that performance our growth rate is now around 7.5 to 8% and we can increase this growth rate and we need that growth because it is only in a rapidly expanding economy that we can find meaningful solutions to the problems of acute poverty deprivation which still characterizes many parts of our country and if growth is not there the whole process of 
redistribution of incoming wealth becomes a zero sum game and when social processes become zero sum games they give rise to great degree of anger frustration and therefore we need this vibrant growth to provide the wherewithal in which redistributing processes can become a positive sum game and not a zero sum game and therefore understanding of the process of growth particularly paying attention to the need of rural development paying particular attention to the delivery of basic social services such as health education or the management to the municipal and panchayati raj institutions all these are integral to our understanding of the processes of growth processes of change and i sincerely hope that you will take permanent interest in all these processes of nation building when i look at the civil servants in the british time there is one thing which strikes me many of them although they came to our country from far away distant land many of them spend lot of time in understanding the sociology and economics of how india's rural dynamic works i think of late probably because india don't stay in jobs long enough therefore i think that depth of knowledge that our civil servants need to understand processes of change particularly in the rural sector the problems of disadvantaged community scheduled castes scheduled tribes they do not receive the attention that they deserve that's why you have tensions in rural india the naxalite problems these are problems which have several dimensions a law and order dimension is important and no state can really neglect the enforcement of law and order and also enforcement of the rule of law in our country but you must also recognize that there are i think underlying tensions arising out of the fact that not all sections of our society get an equitable share or the benefits of growth benefits of development and therefore i think you have to pay particular attention to being the custodians of the well being of the weaker sections stop